I'm beginning to find that Christmas is becoming much more stressful. I mean, years ago I could actually deal with things like Christmas tree lights. Now, I'm one of those few people, actually, I, I don't bring my Christmas tree into the house until Christmas Eve. The lights work perfectly. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Two hours before the shops close, every little bastard light goes. <laughs> And for the next two hours, I am scampering like a lunatic around London, like a demented lunatic, in ever-increasing circles, searching madly for one little green <laughs> Christmas tree light that was made in Taiwan in 1967. Father Christmas. And my father had said, Father Christmas is there. And so I, I think he'd give me a half crown or something like that. And I went in, and there was the grotto, Father Christmas's grotto. And this fellow said, do, do you want to get in the lucky dip there? And he said, come and tell me what you want. And he sat me in his lap. I was about six or something at the time. And all I could think of was, he smelt of Guinness. And his fingers were covered with nicotine stains. And I thought, geez, I don't, I don't really want this fellow coming into the house at night. <laughs> The other thing I've noticed about Christmas, you buy a box of crackers and it says, made in Great Britain with foreign parts. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't we all? <laughs> and the thing about that, the, the crackers, it's not the crackers so much, it's the hats. The hats you get in those crackers. Why can't they fit? <laughs> You either get them slipping over your eyes, or they sit there perched on the top of the head. Now, who do they test these hats out on? I mean, are there two fellows in Singapore, sitting in some little sweatshop, one with an enormous head, and one with a head three and seven eights? Oh, this for me, or for you. Oh, oh. Christmas rat. Oh, very good. Hatter. Christmas hat. Hatter. 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 The writer fellow, Alice. Alice. It's coming. Lewis Carroll. Christmas Lewis. Christmas Carroll. Yes! Oh, yes, Christmas. I thought you'd never get it. Well, I said Christmas Lewis. Christmas Lewis. Because a young Jewish child was born in Palestine, 
We suddenly say, we've got to bring Christmas trees into a house. Can you imagine at any other time of the year, if you brought a tree into the house? <laughs> silver balls on it. And a fairy on the top. It put you away. Now, actually, this year, to ensure that I got a good Christmas tree this year, I, I went and picked it earlier. I got it two weeks ago. And it was perfect. Beautiful shape. Wonderful, wonderful shape. Dark green, thick, bushy. That was then. <laughs> now it looks like it's suffering from acid rain. <laughs> Even the fairy on the top is losing his hair. <laughs> I spent half of Christmas sweeping up, cleaning up those pine needles. So many times that the bag on the side of my hoover looks like a fat porcupine. <laughs> Mistletoes to kiss people under a you know, um, and the people that you have to kiss are the one people you never really want to kiss, kind of hairy ants. I had a kind of real hairy, I mean, she, Jesus, she looked like a plucked chicken. I mean, she had the tooth and she had hairy hair and uh, little kind of spikes coming out. And she was all like, oh, James David, give us a kiss there. Oh, give us a nice big kiss. You know? And the person you wanted to kiss is somebody you really wanted to grab a hold of. Uh, they wouldn't come near you, and there was other people, come on over here, give us a kiss, and um, uh, poo, oh geez, you had a whiskey and a sherry, and you know, it was all that, and you'd have to stand there, and I had one Eileen, Auntie Eileen, who had the biggest pair of tits in the world, and she'd come, oh, come, you're in between these things, and you'd be, give us a kiss under the mistletoe, you have to kiss me. Um, and to this day, I never have mistletoe in the house. Now, the only thing regarding Christmas and Christmas trees is, is it's not only difficult to get a Christmas tree, but if you think back over the past Christmas, it's even more difficult to get rid of the bloody thing. <laughs> I mean, you try and get rid of the Christmas tree at the end of Christmas, the dustman won't take it. You can't burn it because you live in a smokeless zone. And you find yourself, after the Christmas, surreptitiously creeping around your neighborhood, trying to find a, a builder's skip. <laughs> and you can't find one, so you dump it in somebody's garden. <laughs> Come back to your own house and there's two Christmas trees. Everything all right, Sergeant? Yeah. All quiet, sir. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Oh. Listen, sir. It's Jerry. Jerry singing. Yes, Sergeant. Listen to what he's singing. A Christmas carol. Happy Christmas, Jerry! Happy Christmas, Tommy! Jerry! Yeah! I have some whiskey. Would you like a drop? you in no man's land! Yeah. No, it's a trick, sir. Don't go. It's a trick. Sergeant, don't be ridiculous. No, you don't understand. It's a trick, sir. A Sergeant. trick. Don't go! I was trying to tell you, sir, it's not Christmas, it's April the 1st. <laughs> 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 